А? Где он делал? Вон там ушел синюю машину, когда выгнали легковую. Mm. Ты это будешь копейку спасать? Заводи, угоняй ее, пока не сгорела. Там, там бахает. Бахает, да. Рыбки. Нас ебали. Так, не свети, птица летает и типок видит нас. Камазу пизда. Да. Газон нет, успели угнать. Камаз не угнали. Камаза нет. А? Где он делал? Вон там ушел синюю машину, когда выгнали легковую. Mm. Ты это будешь копейку спасать? Заводи, угоняй ее, пока не сгорела. Там, там бахает. Бахает, да. Рыбки. Нас ебали. Так, не свети, птица летает и типок видит нас. Камазу пизда. Да. Газон нет, успели угнать. Камаз не угнали. Камазы нет. UK Defence Secretary Grant Shapps has announced the allocation of 380 million euros to purchase over 10,000 drones for Ukraine's armed forces during his visit to Kyiv. During his third visit to Ukraine, Shapps, accompanied by Admiral Sir Tony Radikin, Chief of the UK Defence Staff, met with President Volodymyr Zelensky and Defence Minister Rustam Yumirev. There, he stated that the UK is allocating 380 million euros, 146 million euros more than previously announced, to supply over 10,000 drones, including mostly FPV drones, 1,000 combat UAVs, as well as reconnaissance drones and uncrewed surface vessels. Ukraine's armed forces are using UK-donated weapons to unprecedented effect, to help lay waste to nearly 30% of Russia's Black Sea Fleet, Shap said. He also said, I was pleased to be able to offer my firm reassurance to President Zelensky on the UK's unwavering commitment to the brave people and military forces of Ukraine. The Ukrainian military are already deploying first-person view drones in the battlefield and they have become a key weapon for attacking Russian troops. The British government says these drones allow the operator the ability to finally control their movements in real time and have been successfully used to bypass Russian air defenses to hit their targets. The UK and Latvia lead the International Drone Coalition, formed within the framework of the Ukraine Defense Contact Group meetings. Earlier, Martin Harris, UK ambassador to Kyiv, said that UK-sponsored drones for Ukraine would be produced on the territory of both countries. A participant of the Atesh military partisan movement carried out a sabotage on the railway near Moscow. He organized an explosion to prevent the Russians from carrying out military supplies to the front, this is reported in the Telegram channel of the movement. They published there the footage and indicated the place of the sabotage. It is noted that the saboteur successfully destroyed the relay cabinet near the Golovkovo railway station. It is located in Solnechnogorsk district of Moscow region of Russia, this action hindered the movement of trains on the railway line around Moscow, which is used by the aggressor country for military purposes. Our goal is to stop the Putin regime's military supplies to the front line. It is possible to accomplish this. In order to do this, we need the help of people who are on the territory of the Russian Federation, Atesh pointed out, calling for people to join the movement.